Hey guys, it's Alec from Cichlid Bros. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be giving an update to the 125 gallon Predator Hap Tank. This update has been long overdue and I'm very excited and interested in seeing the results. So without any further ado, let's get right to it and dive right in. So when I set this tank up three years ago, I knew I liked black sand and I wanted to try it in this tank. In my previous tank, I kept Mbuna with white sand and always thought black sand would really make their colors pop. So when I upgraded this to 125 gallons and switched to Predator halves, black sand is what I went with. I really like what the black sand and black background does to make the fish stand out. I think it makes the fish look more defined and clear. However, I did miss the more natural and contrasting look that I had in my old tank with a black background and white sand. So I decided to go the opposite route by keeping the black sand and adding a rocky background. I really liked that background as well, but since it wasn't siliconed in place and fit to my exact dimensions, I had a hard time keeping it upright and fish from getting behind it. In hindsight, I think a gray rocky background would have looked better as well but at the time I was worried about the fish blending in with the gray background too much. So I removed the background and just went back to black on black. My biggest issue with the black substrate and black background is that some cool designs on my fish are a little flushed out and dulled. I recently made two additions to this tank with a Buchochromus nototania and a Tyrannochromus nigraventer. These are two of my favorite fish ever and I couldn't wait to get them. I got the nigraventer at about five and a half inches and already a little blue in the face. He'll grow fast. Niger Ventures have a really cool design on their body, but as soon as I put him in the tank, he pretty much went straight black to blend in. Some of it is him being the smallest fish in the tank and hiding his dominant colors, but I think the dark tank played a factor as well. I've never been one to chase pH numbers, but I have heard great things about what Aragonite does to elevate pH to numbers that African cichlids thrive in. It'll be a major undertaking, but I'm ready to see how these fish respond to the color contrast of Aragonite sand and the difference in pH. Changing substrate with fish in the tank is a large task to undertake, but my dominant fish have already been pushing the sand into nice piles for me anyway, so removing the sand isn't that bad. I also found some rocks at my local fish store to create a bit of a rockscape. Since I am changing things up, I figured I would try giving some line of sight breaks and rocks to hide in. My eye biter has just been a terror lately, harassing some of the fish, so hopefully this will mitig help mitigate some of that aggression. I'm also excited to see how it looks. The first thing I need to do is drain a lot of the water. I'm gonna leave about 30% of the water in and start taking out as much sand as I can and see if I need to take the fish out or not. I don't want to stress the fish out too much by taking them out of the tank and keeping them in a bucket during this process, so I would like to keep them in, but if it's not safe for them in there, then I'll just take it out. We'll just have to see. All right, it's actually going pretty well so far. We got less than half of the water drained, but I got a full bucket of sand already out, and it's crazy how much sand fits in that one five gallon bucket. So it's a good start, but water's not too cloudy yet. All right, so we got all the sand out. It was actually pretty painless, and it didn't murky up the tank too bad. I also put the two base rocks down for my rock structure, and now it's time to put the sand in. So here's the sand. Time to co-open some bags and dump them in. All right, so here's the update. Right now we are filling the tank back up. I got three of the five bags in, um, which is actually covering most of the ground. I stopped there because it was getting so murky that I didn't want to continue to make it murky when I don't even see where I'm putting the sand. Thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up, let it clear up a little bit, come back tomorrow and put the other bags in if necessary, and then clear it up again. Eventually.
right, here we are 48 hours later and the tank is cleared up nicely. The tank was crystal clear in less than 24 hours thanks to some really good mechanical and chemical filtration as well as good water circulation. The ground was pretty much covered from the original three bags I put in, but I went ahead and added another half of a bag to give it a little depth. I absolutely love the new look and not only has it improved the look of the tank, it has improved the look of the fish. Colors aren't as flushed out in the fish and designs that weren't very noticeable before are now much easier to see. The rock structure was designed to give a line of sight break and create a tunnel or cave for stressed out fish and so far it is working really well. My two most dominant fish seem much more content and the rest of the fish are swimming much more freely around the tank. Overall, I wouldn't mind doing black sand again, but with a gray background. However, with my black background, I couldn't be happier with my decision to switch to aragonite. I also love that it helps the tank fit the desired parameters for my fish. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Stay tuned because we've got a lot of awesome updates coming on the channel. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.